They are gathered together for the White House Correspondents' Dinner without the President. We are here to celebrate the press, not the presidency. Media outlets like CNN and MSNBC are fake news. Mr. President, the media is not fake news. Ninety-six percent of journalists who made donations in the last election gave them to our opponents. Even Hillary Clinton couldn't be here tonight. Hillary Clinton could, I mean, she could have been here, but I think someone told her that the event was in Wisconsin and Michigan, so... <laughs> what? There is no place I'd rather be than right here in Pennsylvania to celebrate. As for the other guy, I think he's in Pennsylvania because he can't take a joke. Wow, so a tale of two Americas this one weekend. Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, celebrating President Trump's. Uh, the other in Washington, D.C., where the media elite held a group therapy session at the White House Correspondents' Center. Where do we go from here, and was their deductible satisfied? Democratic strategist and Fox News contributor Richard Fowler. Richard, who made the right choice? Oh, I think they both made the right choice, Brian. Really? Uh, I was, you know, I was, I was at some of the events this past weekend. Now I'm in Miami. It's nice, a lot hotter here than it is there. But here's the thing. The funny part about this is, is that Donald Trump has attended the White House Correspondents' Dinners for years. The one year he decides not to attend is the year that he's supposed to be the headline, and that's interesting. Now, don't get me wrong. I, I, I politically, I understand why Donald Trump didn't go to the White House Correspondents' Dinner. It's about 30 or 40 percent of his supporters who believe everything that he says, and they think that the media is fake, so him going there would support that. But we all know the truth, that, yes, sometimes the media gets it wrong, but 95% of the time, CNN, are, and, CNN, and CNN and MSNBC, our colleagues, aren't fake news. Right. Uh, I think it's mislabeled. I don't think it's fake news. I don't think anyone has a problem with Rachel Maddow coming out with her uh, uh, school of thought, like Sean Hannity. Uh, we get it. I think it's when I think the president's real problem is is the decision, for example, to take the Mike Flynn story and make it number one and not the story about the Iranian deal with 14 highly, uh, uh, highly uh, questionable people being let go in a top secret deal that no one understood when President Obama was president. Things like that, no, uh, stacking no. stories and opinion into the reporting is what throws off this White House. No, kill me. I, I totally get that. I, I think, but herein lies a problem. What we have from this White House over and over again is we see that this White House likes to peddle in what I like to call squishy facts, right? Facts that aren't necessarily the, the real facts. Case in point, when the president made a headline about his crowd size at the inauguration, or the fact that every time he sits down with journalists, as he did with Reuters last week, he hands them a copy of the map where he won. We know President, I mean, I know Donald Trump is the President of the United right. States. I accept that. I think 90, 100% of Americans accept the fact that he's President right. of the United States. He lives, he occupies the White House. Richard, now, real quick. Now, here's where the President you, has, to, has to create a balance. Go ahead. I'll let you go. Uh, finally, I know we have to go. Everything you said is solid, based in fact. Do you think there's a difference between the way the press covered President Obama as opposed to Trump? Um, I don't think so. I think the pre President Obama got a hard time. I mean, they got mad at him when he took them to Hawaii over and over again over Christmas break. They talked about his golfing like they talk about President Trump's golfing. Uh, but okay. I think that President All Trump, right. a lot of the time, causes this media hate on himself. We'll see what happens in the next 100-plus uh, days. We'll have you back again in between. Richard Fowler, always great. Thanks. Thank you.